Now let us see how to get this mirror formula. What is mirror formula first of all? Suppose you take a mirror, keep an object at a distant place and after reflection the rays coming from the object they meet at a point and form the image. What is the object distance? What is the image distance? If you take another mirror, will the image be formed at the same place? If it is different, why so? Then does it depend on the mirror? Yes. All these things can be connected. And the main criteria involved when you purchase a mirror, suppose you go to your shop, you ask the shopkeeper, give me a mirror, he will ask you, what focal length he will ask. First of all, he will ask you whether you want convex mirror or concave mirror. That is the first question. Then, what is the focal length that, that you need? So focal length is the first factor with which we distinguish the mirrors. A mirror of so much focal length, another mirror of this much focal length and all. So now if you uh, want to get the mirror formula, that the formula which connects focal length, object distance and image distance. Because same object at the same distance for the another mirror of different focal length, image will be at different place. So all these should be connected, that is called mirror formula and in the beginning itself I will write what is the formula because as I do the derivation, of course you must be ready with pen and paper again, take a pen and paper, sit in front of the uh, your mobile or whatever the gadget you have, you should keep on writing it, without writing don't watch it like as if you watch a movie, please have a pen and paper and keep on writing. So I will write the formula in the beginning itself, what we are going to get today after the derivation this is the formula that we are going to get so a relation which connects object distance u image distance v and focal length that is called mirror formula okay now <coughs> if this is the formula that we are in need of we will take a particular case in a concave mirror we will take the help of concave mirror again this mirror formula holds good for all the types of mirrors and you can derive it using convex mirror, you can derive it using concave mirror and it is applicable everywhere. But we will take the help of concave mirror now. Okay, so you must be ready with your paper, draw a concave mirror. You know that concave mirror reflects from the inner side and it is painted outside. And uh, let this be the principal axis, right? A concave mirror such that it receives light from the left hand side and it falls on the mirror. It, the, the ray of light is given an opportunity to move along the plus x axis, positive x direction. Okay, and this is the pole of the mirror, and this is the focus, the point where parallel rays meet, really meet, not like convex where they appear to diverge. And uh, so, concave mirror uh, brings the light to the focus, whereas the convex mirror diverges. And uh, uh, this is a part of a sphere and that sphere will have a center, C. And you know that this focus is in the middle of center and pole. Because distance from pole to focus is called focal length, which is half of the distance from pole to center, what you call radius. Okay, now take an object here, like a candle flame or I will symbolically I will represent the object. In order to see whether the image is erect or inverted, I give a uh, arrow to the top. I will call it as a flame. This is the flame part, this is the candle part. Okay, so this is an object. I will name it as AB. AB is an object kept at a certain distance U and all the distances can be marked. Later on we will mark it. In order to trace the image of this object, see you have to place uh, uh, sufficient space. Don't draw a very small diagram and try to uh, incorporate everything in that. Take enough space, take a rough paper and uh, draw the diagram, scribble it, you need not take all the scales and all, draw it using your hands, that's enough. This is only learning part, in the examination you can draw it beautifully. Okay, keep an object away from the center. Now in order to trace the image, we will take one part of the object, you need not consider all the parts of the object, take the flame part. In the image, if you can trace where the flame is. And remaining part of the candle will be traced easily. Take one point of the candle or object. Consider some rays. It is like uh, uh, you are starting from uh, or you are studying in a class and your friends are together. You share so many things with them. You will have very good moments and very happy moments. And with all those memories, you leave the college and go anywhere, right? 
uh, it is like uh, you are going out of the college after your studies it is as if rays are moving out of an object they move in different directions they move away they diverge will they meet concave mirror gives an opportunity for all these rays to meet again suppose you happen to meet somewhere in a city or so suppose uh, uh, by chance you and your friend after 10 years uh, uh, start working in the same company you happen to meet right you meet with your friend the first thing that you do is you will recall the memories that you had in your uh, school days same thing happens here two friends or three friends starting from a let us trace them one friend starting from a and moving parallel to the principal axis you know what happens to this boy or a girl who is studying in the school and he has left the school and he is moving and his journey uh, life is uh, in a journey now and he is moving parallel to the principal axis after reflection it passes through focus you know this you know this very firmly that it should pass through the focus one ray so one friend has moved what happened to the second friend everybody is having their own uh, journey their own life all of us don't go in the same direction all of us don't do the same job we go in different directions okay so and while drawing the diagrams another careful thing uh, is uh, you, you should take very uh, care is drawing arrows if you don't draw arrows you will lose one mark in a bulk right uh, in physics marks are given in the form of quantas and marks are reduced in the form of quantas we don't reduce marks in the form of half fraction or so a quarter or so we reduce it in one mark suppose there is one arrow is not seen we reduce one mark so better you draw the arrows because for cheap you will lose more marks so one arrow here after reflection another arrow of course you can write an arrow here also if needed but one arrow is enough so a ray of light par moving parallel to the principal axis after reflection passes to the focus now let me take another ray which is passing through the center you know that any ray passing through the center is incident normally to the mirror because any ray which is towards the curvature towards the center of the curvature is normal to the curvature so it should get reflected back in the same path but in the opposite direction so how should do i trace the ray which is uh, passing through the center so another student of the same uh, class has moved in this direction and he has uh, incident on the mirror normally so one ray hitting the mirror and reflected back in the same path because this is normal incident as if we incident a ray of light normally on a plane mirror and it getting reflected back like this i0 r0 in the same way this is incident and reflected back okay so that returns back now this ray started from the school and uh, after reflection getting a job reflected back here this ray incident normally on the mirror reflected back they to meet here after 20 years or so you meet in the same company you are got you are getting excited you talk to each other you remember whatever you have done in your school days good memories the rays coming from here top of the object the flame part of the candle they carry information from the top of the candle flame and they have their information now in their pocket when they meet back they will retrace or re memorize that information here that means you here you see the candle the flame part of the candle here so that means what about the rest part of the candle here it will be like this here so this is the image you will see the image here now so the rays of light which are starting from a one point of the object moving in different directions after reflection they meet here and produce the a part of this uh, uh, the object and this is the image part I will call it as A dash and I will call it as B dash A dash B dash is the image see how is the image image is reduced inverted and uh, it is real why do you call it as real sir because rays of light are really meeting here right you really met your friend and you are really recalling the things and uh, so this is the inverted real image formed and you see here when the object is beyond the center image is formed between f and c focus and center diminished real and inverted okay now can i sir only two rays start from a no many many rays start from a sir why did you consider only two two is enough for us to trace the image 
So if you if somebody is talking about their old school, two friends are enough. If there are three friends, okay, no problem. They will also talk to each other. So let let us consider. So minimum two rays are enough for tracing the image. For the derivation purpose, I'll consider one more ray. That is uh, incident on the pole at some angle. So I will take one more ray incident on the pole at some angle like this. After reflection, it should pass in such a way that angle of incidence is this one because this is normal because it passes to the center this is normal and it should get reflected of course i choose this ray at the end because it should pass here also it should pass here because all the rays should produce the image here only so i will take it like this like this so this is the reflected ray right it reflects back like this so i have chosen three rays one ray parallel to the principal axis after reflection passes through the focus here is the focus and another ray uh, passing through the center gets reflected back but in the opposite direction in the same path another ray incident towards the pole after reflection passes and uh, with the same angle of reflection and it passes to the same point so these three rays i must draw Hope you are drawing along with me that gives you a lot of confidence to you because you shouldn't listen to me uh, at a stretch and try to draw the diagram later on that gives a doesn't give help you at all you i give enough time to draw this so listen at one end and keep on drawing at the other end hope you are doing so so these three rays so the diagram should be so legible and so clear that it shouldn't uh, appear like somebody have cancelled it you have so many rays of light it shouldn't appear like somebody have cancelled it it should appear very beautiful okay okay now yes uh, what else we can write i will write this as m here the point where the rays uh, hit the mirror now i can take mp as almost a straight line when you have a curvature like this if i take this m here of course this is a curve when you take a larger curvature uh, uh, this can be taken as almost a straight line right that normal is a straight line so i don't consider another normal here mp itself is normal when the ray of light is very close to the principal axis okay this is a paraxial ray parallel right now we have to get this answer right let us try to uh, uh, recognize where is focal length where is object distance and where is image distance from pole here to the focus focal length right you keep on writing this from center to the pole all distances are measured from the pole this is a radius all the distances are measured from from the pole along the principal axis so from pole to the focus focal length from pole to the center radius it is a center of curvature where is object distance and image distance this is the object so this is object distance right from the pole where is the image distance v v st stands for image distance and image distance is here because this is the image i will mark it with a different color so that it is visible so this is v v here right so object distance image distance focal length radius and uh, okay everything is over now we had some sign conventions earlier all distances are measured from the pole along the principal axis we did it and distances measured along the direction of light are taken positive how is the ray of light moving now before reflection coming from the object o, uh, here ab ray of light is moving in this direction am i right what about distances measured distances are all measured from the pole in this direction so distances are measured like this whereas uh, the ray of light is traveling like this everything is negative here nothing comes on the other side so always choose the ray of light along positive x axis keep the mirror lens everything in such a way that ray of light gets an opportunity to move along x axis simply divide this into two coordinates whatever you come across come in the right whatever is coming on the right hand side positive coming on the left hand side negative coming up positive coming down negative height of the image negative because below the principal axis height of the object positive 
every distance from the pole pole is the center it is like the majestic of bangalore everything starts from majestic so you move away everything is measured from that center it's going away coming like this opposite to the direction of light negative going like this in the direction of incident light positive but fortunately we don't have anything here everything here so everything negative so later on we are going to substitute the sign conventions u negative r negative f negative v negative everything is in the left hand side so very easy sign conventions don't get too much confused with that take the ray of light along the positive axis in such a way keep the mirror or lens Divide it into coordinate systems. Everything on the right positive, left negative. Up positive, lower negative, over. Now, don't forget that we have started a derivation where we want this one at the end. How to do that? Now, if you want to get this F, U, V, R and everything, what you have to do is, you have to take the triangles here. Go in search of the triangles. Sir, where does F come? F comes here. Now, do you get any triangle where F comes? Yes, I can directly jump into the mathematical derivation and I can finish it, but I don't want to do so. I want to explain why that derivation is running like that. What is the purpose? Because we want to get this one. Focal length comes in this triangle. Where is the radius? Radius is here, centered to P, but it doesn't come in any triangle. Okay, leave it. What about object distance? Object distance is here, that comes in this triangle. Can you see that? A dash, uh, sorry, ABP. ABP is the triangle where BP is uh, object distance. Okay, what about uh, focal length? Focal length comes in FPM, this triangle. FP is the focal length. Okay, and taking those two triangles as reference where object distance and focal length comes into picture. Uh, triangle ABP and of course image di distance comes in one picture uh, one triangle what is that triangle A dash B dash P in that triangle image distance comes into picture right so you s go in search of all these triangles so image distance is in A dash B dash P because B dash P is image distance object distance is in the triangle ABP where BP is the uh, object distance take those two triangles shall I shade that triangle a little bit with some ink or some color so that the whole diagram of course you need not shade it of course for the derivation now we can shade it but in the examination you need not shade it I will take this triangle can you see this triangle here one triangle where I can get object distance and another triangle is this one another triangle where image distance appears b dash p now are these similar triangles i'm not saying equal triangles they are similar triangles what do you mean by similar triangles you see these two angles must be equal why sir this is the angle of incidence because this is normal this is the incident ray this is angle of reflection this is the normal this is the reflected ray so these two angles are equal what about these two angles in the triangle they are also equal so i have two triangles similar triangles in which all the three angles are same this angle should be equal because the third angle should be equal total should be 180 so this angle this angle is are they are equal this is angle of incidence angle of reflection equal so consider the similar triangles a b e p and a dash b dash p where you get object distance and image distance so from similar triangles keep on writing you can also involve in a derivation don't keep as if you are watching a movie again i say simply follow this from similar triangles a b p and a dash b dash p a b p and a dash b dash p hope you can follow them and in similar triangles always suppose one side is double the other then the remaining sides will also be double the other that means the ratio of for example if this side of the triangle a b p is double this side then definitely this side will be double this side and this side will be double this side that ratio remains the same suppose this one is uh, three times greater than this then this side will be three times greater than this that means the ratio of a b to a dash b dash and a p to a dash p are same but we are in need of this is object height this is image height 
you can clearly note it this is image height this is object height whereas this is object distance this is image distance but what are these things they are nothing so don't worry about a dash p and uh, a p they are not needed for us so we will write the ratios in similar triangles always the ratio of corresponding sides are equal so how larger this is a b compared to this a dash b dash or i can write it in a reverse way yes a dash b dash by a b this is smaller and this is larger from this triangle this side divided by this how larger this is compared to this in the same way this b dash p and should be smaller bp should be so much larger if this is two times smaller than this this should also be two times smaller than this so ratio of corresponding sides should be same so a, a b a dash b dash by a b it is equal to b dash p divided by bp yes that is one 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 thing that is one equation okay sir is it over no but we were able to get b dash p and bp into picture what is b dash p b dash p is a uh, image distance from b dash to pole what is the bp object distance so two things have come into picture u and v now take two similar triangles other similar triangles now somehow i have to bring fp am i right because focal then this is the only thing which has not entered in the film object distance entry is over image distance entry is over now villain has to come hero heroine is finished villain f from where we will get fp see this triangle which contains f p. of course i have told m is very close to the principal axis and this is almost straight this is 90 now is there any similar triangle to fmp yes there is where is it this triangle and similar triangle to this is here sir how is this these two similar triangles a dash b dash f and mpf how they are similar very simple vertically opposite angles because this is a straight line this is a straight line vertically opposite angles equal 90 degree 90 degree equal and these angles should be equal so from similar triangles again from similar triangles a dash b dash f a dash b dash f and m p f m p f a dash b dash f and m p f what i can write a dash b dash by m p a dash b dash by m p because uh, these are the uh, lines which are perpendicular to this uh, adjacent sides here so a dash b dash by m p is equal to i need not take this because these distances are nothing in front uh, nothing in terms of object distance image distance and focal line so i need not consider this so take this so if a dash b dash and m p that ratio is taken then that must be same in accordance with the ratio b dash f by f p hope you have followed this so in similar triangles how larger this is corresponding to this then same number of times this should be larger than this so a dash b dash by m p must be equal to b dash f here is focus b dash f by f p okay this is the second equation okay i will write the second equation later now this m p this is a parallel ray incident to the principal axis parallel to the principal axis so what about this side if these are parallel m p and a, da, a b are equal so shall i replace m p as a b because this side and this side should be equal so a dash b dash by a b instead of this must be equal to b dash f by f p equation 2 so a small change here right this you have to remember now see the equations 1 and 2 left hand sides are same a dash b dash by a b a dash b dash by a b so right hand side should be same so what you will get from this one b dash p by bp right hand side of the first equation same as the left hand side here b dash f by fp so this is the next equation from these two so we considered similar triangles from here this one and this one 
first similar triangles where we got u and v connected so uh, make it like an algorithm or a flow chart first you have to connect u and v then you have to connect focal length from the next equation we were able to do that now you can substitute b dash okay what is that uh, b dash f b dash f is okay what is b dash p b dash p is uh, uh, image distance bp object distance and b uh, fp is uh, focal length this one this one and this one have a meaning now b dash p here and bp object distance image distance focal length but what about b dash f b dash f is here it is nothing it is nothing uh, it is not it is a uh, uh, neither focal length nor object distance nor image distance but one thing you can do b dash f can be written as b dash p minus f p where b dash p has a meaning image distance f p has a meaning focal length so totally b dash f can be written as this total distance minus this distance that will give you this one so from this total distance b dash p if you remove f p you will get b dash uh, yeah, because if you want to get this answer You must be able to put all these things in u v and f otherwise no use you can put these three But not this one. So we will exchange it now b dash p by b p Must be equal to b dash f What is b dash f full length minus this one b dash p? minus f p right this total length minus this one that will remain with the b dash f divided by f p right now now keep on substituting the values of those length you see here b p is only length from uh, pole to the object base of the object but in terms of u it is the object distance you have to follow sign conventions when you substitute the object distance you have to follow sign convention because object distance is not a simple distance it is the distance from the pole to the object but bp is only a geometrical distance so i will substitute all the values now b dash p b dash p is image distance right so when i substitute image distance i will put minus minus sign is because all the distances from pole to the object of course even though i have written as b dash p even though I have written it as b dash p, b dash p is only a distance in the diagram. Only a distance in the diagram. But when I substitute it as image distance v, according to the sign convention, image distance is measured from the pole to the image. But when you measure it, you have to move in the direction opposite to the direction of incident light. You must write the sign convention minus v. bp, bp is simply a length in the diagram but it is equal to object distance so if you want to replace it as object distance you have to apply the sign convention you are start from the pole towards the uh, base of the object then you are going opposite to the incident light again minus u is equal to again b dash p minus v minus of fp f is a focus and to the pole focal length of course you have to measure it from pole to the focus so minus f right minus v minus of minus f all the things come in the left hand side if you divide it into a coordinate system everything comes in the left hand side so v minus v minus of minus f divided by again fp fp is minus f pole to focus even though i have written it as fp when you write focal length it is from pole to focus now rearrange this finally try to get that one minus sign gets cancelled minus v plus f divided by uh, minus f yes v by u is equal to minus v plus f by minus f okay so shall i write this of course you can get it in you know in your own mathematical way you will uh, finally land up with that equation what i will do is i will write it like this v by u as v by u and uh, I will divide this f to both the numerator values my equal to minus v by minus f right I will divide the share this one minus v by minus f and uh, this one uh, ma uh, plus f by minus f 
I'll write minus f. So minus v by minus f and plus f by minus f. This is minus 1 of course. So finally what does it uh, mean now? v by u is equal to v by f because minus v by minus f and minus f by minus f, uh, minus f by f that is equal to sorry minus 1. This is minus 1. Right. Now divide throughout by v. Uh, if I will write 1 by 1. Divide throughout by v. By v, by v, by v. On all, both the sides. What you will get? 1 by u. 1 by v. And once you divide, the, divide it by v on the left hand side, you have to divide it by v on the right hand side also. 1 by v, 1 by f. 1 v gets cancelled. Minus 1 by v. Right? By v, by v, by v. So here v comes to the picture. Here v gets cancelled. Here v gets cancelled bring it to the right hand side minus 1 by v becomes plus 1 by v so what you will finally end up with 1 by u plus 1 by v is equal to 1 by f so this is the answer so this is the relation which is connecting object distance image distance and focal length okay so this is one derivation and along with this you may be asked to derive one more thing what you call magnification what do you mean by magnification of course you should have a plan for this derivation remember you should take the diagram in such a way that you must try to get all these things in your uh, geometrical representation so why do you take the similar triangles and uh, what three similar triangles you have to take select the similar triangles which contain u r f and v try to get those similar triangles otherwise you have plenty of triangles here you will there is a lot of opportunity for getting confused you will get confused very easily but try to look into only those triangles which will contain all these values remember that you must get this finally so try to put them in order and finally you have to apply sign conventions and you have to get the answer now let me rub this okay ah, this is to be retained uh, I will rub this one I rub this and I will get what is magnification what do you mean by magnification of course i can use the same uh, uh, equations for magnification magnification means when a mirror or a lens forms the image how much it is magnified how much it is diminished we have to represent it by a term for example if i say oh that is a larger size image how much larger sir three times larger if the height of the object is 5 centimeter, height of the image is 15 centimeter, then 3 is the magnification. Suppose I have an object of 10 centimeter and if the image height is only 5 centimeter, magnification is half. That means image is half the size of the object. So magnification is defined as the ratio of the height of the image to the height of the object. Of course, in the NCRT book you have h dash by h. The ratio of height of the image to the height of the object is called magnification for example 10 centimeter is the height of the object 5 centimeter is the height of the image so 5 centimeter by 10 centimeter you will get half that is the meaning image is half the size of the object okay now how to get this of course if it is asked along with this hence obtain an expression for magnification not a very important derivation but this one is important 1 by f equal 1 by u plus 1 by v. Suppose it is asked, you can start from where? From here, equation 2. Here only you will get this answer. You see, is, it, is this not the magnification? H dash by h. It is. Definitely it is the magnification. Yes, we will derive it from that. What is magnification? Okay. Right. A dash, b dash, so from equation 2. A dash, b dash by ab. What is A dash B dash? It is the height of the image. What is AB? Height of the object. But height of the image is, uh, uh, it is below the principal axis. So when I write it, A dash B dash, I will write the equation again. Of course, this is not needed now. A dash B dash by AB is equal to B dash F by FP. I would write this now. A dash B dash, that implies Okay, h dash by h, this is minus, one minute, b dash p, 
Oh, this is not needed. I think I can use this equation. I can use this equation to get the magnification. A dash B dash by AB is equal to B dash P by BP. That gives the magnification directly. You will get this here only from the first equation. So how to get this? A dash B dash by AB is equal to B dash P by BP and we have written it from the similar triangles ABP and A dash B dash P. Now A dash B dash this one. So shall I write it as minus H dash because it is the height of the image minus because it is below the principal axis. AB that is H height of the object H is equal to B dash P. What is B dash P? B dash P is the distance of the image but it is in the left hand side minus V and BP, BP is the object distance it is minus U that is also on the left hand side. So B dash P is the minus V, BP is minus U so now this minus gets cancelled put it here so H dash by H is equal to minus V by U and that is magnification. So you can get it from the same equation. So magnification is defined as the ratio of height of the image to the height of the object and it is also equal to the ratio of image distance by object distance but with a negative sign. So M can be negative or positive, answer may be negative or positive sometimes and if both object and image are above then you may get magnification positive. So this is the formula for magnification. But this derivation is very important, so try to have a, a very good diagram and according to the requirement, go on for the derivation, which triangles you have to take. Suppose this is asked, tie it along with the first equation and you will get the answer. Thank you.